All right, here we go. This is a ranked 1v1 on Salt between the blue player on the left side. It is Bromania and the Envision Osprey. Bromania, also known as a Tyla. And the red player on the right side, it is Lord of Lords in the classic Helix. Osprey Helix is going to be a micro battle for sure. Going to see pretty normal openings. Helix is going to be a little ahead just due to straight power. Oh, well. No. Oh, Lord of Lords forced to stop the T45 not getting killed. Romania with the... the the Gemini. Okay, Lord of Lords going Dillo, though. So, Dillo going to be pretty, uh, much more efficient. You're going to get much more damage. And Longhorn on Romania's side. Did I say Gemini before? Either way. Lord of Lords coming for a scout and a harass. Dropping a couple Dillos over here to neutralize very quickly. Going to see what he can finish off. Almost getting, well, no, there was plenty of creeps over there. So, even if he got some creep kills, would not have been able to really do much delaying. Actually pretty low on health here, a little overextending, taking a lot of damage. Romania gonna probably be able to get the finish here. Oh, Lord of Lords waiting for that level up and does get back to his post. That is basically the only way to escape from that kind of thing is to get the level up or to super fake out your opponent and um, out dogfight and speed away from them or else they will catch you because there were too many neutrals in the way to walk back to his post. But now Lord of Lords doing a, oh, okay, a follow move to mid to get all the uh, the Dillos there, which is probably a faster option than just doing all the ferrying. Oh, and also allows Lord of Lords to do multiple things at once, doing a little bit of harass at the same time as having his Dillos. Oh, does stop it before he gets the uh, heavy mine. Before he hits the heavy mine and uh, actually almost dies, but really low on health. But Romania with the heavy mines, so and the uh, the Osprey gonna be able to disarm very easily. Romania actually no, I think a Tyla t uh, tends to play Saucer on the Romania account, which is kind of weird that he's going with the Osprey, which is his main, I think, main mech. But uh, tons of heavy mines down for Lord of, for, uh, for Romania. Lord of Lords just needs one healing unit to uh, neutralize them. And there you go, grabbing the box. Not a humongous deal, but, um, you know, they add up if you can actually, uh, you know, if you can actually grab more than one. Oh, Lord losing one Dillo. Romania ferrying over there. Classic double tank ferry to drop to kill a single tank. Backs out, but Romania overextending. Lord of Lords getting those, you know, using those Helix missiles and getting the kill. Let's see if Lord can get a neutralize over here. Probably can. Dillos do tons of damage. Dropping one Dillo in range of this tank, so that was one thing that he didn't need to do. <laughs> he definitely could have done that slightly better by dropping the Dillos with a better arc. And, you know, so the, uh, the Longhorn did not have line of sight. But it was a small mistake that didn't really cost him anything at this point. But going with the, the fort drop, and at this point, I would probably say he might as well try to just do as much fort damage as possible because he will, he's too deep in enemy territory at this point. Will likely lose these Dillos. So needs to do get the you know the most out, the, out oh my god, actually got away. Holy hell. Because a Tyla, a Bromania, kind of backed off there. And gave Lord of Lords that opening. That was an extremely well-timed retreat. Used that retreat, or used that, uh, you know, defensive measure against Bromania. And getting another kill with the Helix missiles. Bromania again overextending. That is one thing that is really great about Helix. You can catch your opponents in the middle of their mistakes and capitalize with a kill. And we'll probably get at least one or two Bucky kills over here before Bromania can respawn. And a Oh my god, uh, throw, okay, three, I thought he killed the fourth one, but uh, three Bucky kills, which is pretty huge. I forget exactly how much Bucky's cost, 3,600, something like that. A little bit more than half a tank from what I remember. Mid-fight pretty even. I, again, would like to see a, just a single healing unit and a single AA unit over there by Lord of Lords. Um, I guess the AA is slightly less necessary due to a Tyla, or sorry, Bromania being... Well, he's the Osprey right now, so to me, he's, he's a Tyla. But uh, to, due to Bromania being an Osprey, so less threat of the mech, but the Osprey in the support role, supporting units, is very dangerous. Can keep, It can keep its units alive for a very long time, so having a single AA could make a difference between losing units and not, depending on whether or not the Osprey has to retreat. But now Lord of Lords clearing mid, gaining 
crap tons of experience, uh, basically recognizing that the mid fight is at quite a stalemate. So, basically getting whatever advantage oh my gosh the dillo push in and this might actually work because this beautifully placed dillo back here behind the enemy defensive lines forcing bromandia to pull back lord of lords also forced to stop the push as this choke point right here would be too major and bromandia also now putting down some heavy mines lord of lords i'm hoping recognizes that and does not push in or at least try to leapfrog in but I would think that he's aware of the heavy mines on the field right now. But this is pure, pure Dillo spam. And going to throw a generator down, I guess, for for energy or for heal. I'm not really I guess so we can keep this outpost topped off. Okay. So now instead of going for the mid-fight, which is riddled with heavy mines. Oh, no. And I didn't even realize there was, a, there was uh, two Archies pointed over here. Lo Lord of Lords losing almost all the Dillos. Oh, and now the Buster comes out. The Buster play by Bromania is actually going to basically ma make the difference. Lord of Lords is forced to pull back to the uh, to the narrow lane over here. And Bromania going to move in, take this middle outpost. Will Lord of Lords be able to uh, continue the pressure with the Dillos? Because the Dillo pressure has been extremely successful so far. Mostly due to the how many Dillos you can ferry early game. In this case, three, probably soon to be four, as Lord of Lords is a helix. And almost getting the finish by, uh, on Bromania there. Grabbing the third box, I think Lord of Lords has gotten every single box so far, which has been able to uh, make up for the losses he's taken from being so aggressive and, I guess, being, um, <laughs> I guess, uh, semi-negligent at the top, leaving a lot of units there, especially Dillos. Dillos are so dangerous to, to uh, you know to ignore artillery because most one they have the low health pool and two they have the lower armor so they take more damage i believe i believe they take a little bit more damage from artillery either way the low health pool the low health density on the dillo is pretty much that is the kicker and this pure dillo play so going pure dillo no mix no aa no healing units to sustain dillo needs to be super ultra aggressive if he's going to keep doing this because you cannot really maintain a frontal line a, a, uh, a spartan line if you will with dillos due to their low health density lower armor is and you, yeah you definitely can't compete against busters for example so lord of lords and okay and i think right now i'm pretty sure if my memory serves me correctly Dillo is one upkeep while, while Longhorn is two. So you will be able to outnumber the Longhorn straight up just from lack of hitting unit cap. But now, now Bromania trying to grab control of this mid island. Okay, the turtle in front by Lord of Lords. And so does Bromania realize that Lord is pushing out right now? That is a ton of Dillos. It's a ton of damage. They will murder all of these Longhorn if un if left unchecked. And Bromania load up, getting the kill. Lord of Lords focus firing on the outpost. Lord can hard push in, honestly. That's just way too many Dillo to deal with. Uh, and and the Longhorn, uh, yeah, they're just so outnumbered. Oh, man, just I don't think he, Lord of Lords is being aggressive enough right now. The, the Dillos are so strong in numbers, and which is what Romania, which is what Lord of Lord has right now. Compare because you know all of his army is in one spot and gets another okay didn't get the kill but the team 99 finishing off Romania now the goalie coming out interesting switch here to to uh, you know <laughs> to late game tank but yeah I mean it's 27 to 50 Lord of Lords is way behind in terms of army well I don't know I think the difference is because the Dillo takes the one upkeep versus the Longhorn too that they base that basically accounts for the discrepancy and kills Bromania in the air right there. Bromania... I, I mean, honestly, if he didn't get... if he didn't die all those times, this game would be in a way different spot at this point in time. The, the gap, the upkeep gap is closing. It's 40 to 29. And again, you need to account for that 1 versus 2 upkeep, Dillo versus Longhorn. It's 21 to 18 units, so you can really tell. And the majority... Or not all the majority, but a ton of those units that are on the field for Romania are heavy mines. It's three up here, three down here, at least six upkeep, at least six units in heavy mines. So right now, Lord of Lords holding the front line at this mid, and at this point, higher level six versus eight could trade out the goalies or the Dillos for goalies. Now gonna just bunker. 
which is definitely something that all players should do when the opportunity presents itself. Retreating the Heavy Minds doesn't want to rebuild, but putting them in the push, the push path of Lord of Lords units. Dropping the generator, great play there. I'm gonna keep him topped off. I'm gonna try to snipe whatever units he can with these Dillos. Bromania does snipe it, or not rescue it, retrieve his units in time. And Lord of Lords now gonna start a, a frontal line here. Moving the low health Dillo behind the higher health Dillos. Pretty much textbook Amric play. The first box for Bromania, I believe, drops it in the in the socket to gain some interest. Could potentially turn the tide, actually, in theory. But he would have to... Okay, just sold it off. He would have to wait quite a long time for that to really pay off. He would have to hit something like 20k for you to really, you know... For that really to matter that much. Grinders out for Bromania, so definitely going to... Basically has switched to a defensive mentality. Will this T99... Will Lord of Lords realize that he can get the XP for this T99? Lord of Lords now, with a bunch of creeps, gonna do a fort drop. Might as well do whatever damage you can with your free units. We are at 11 minutes, so level 3 creeps have started to spawn for about a minute now. And Romania actually taking a tiny bit of damage. And the longer that Lord of Lords can delay, the better for, for, for Lord because of the upkeep... Or, sorry, the income difference. Man, already even has a birth out on the field, which is pretty nuts. 15k in the bank, probably saving up for another Goliath. Well, Bromania only has 8, 9k. A lot of these units got killed by that artillery, I think. And Lord of Lords going to do some in, uh, some creep stacking. Putting the tanks in defensive position down there. These definitely need to be repurposed. They're just doing nothing on the bridge. While Bromania doesn't have much in the way of an army right now. Even forced to put a Whopper down due to lack of upkeep. I guess that's one of the big things, Longhorn versus Dillo. And Lord of Lords finishing off the T99, getting that XP, even, uh, you know, extending the XP lead. Bromina trying to do whatever he can with the... Is this Buster in range of the goalie? No, I don't think so, but it's very close. And the Bertha comes out for Bromania. But Lord of Lords with just a single Archie and a single goalie. Honestly, a little bit of ferrying could do Bromania a lot of good. Even though it's just Longhorn, with some quick micro and some careful maneuvering not to take too much damage while doing the micro, he might be able to snipe, at the very least, the artillery. Oh, but yes, does get focus fired, and Lord of Lords going to once again take advantage of another player kill. Romania just dying way too much in this game. And really, Lord of Lords is doing a great job capitalizing on these player opponent deaths. Goalies could have even be could have even just been face first. Oh my god, how did that even happen again? I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't even think that could possibly happen just now. And it looks like Romania has left the game as I am for some reason in charge of Lord of Lords. And that is it. Romania leaving the game. Lord of Lords taking this ranked 1v1 win on Salt over Romania. What you're seeing right now, guys, is this is a replay. And when player one leaves, replays break. But <laughs> trust me, this was a Lord of Lords victory. Uh, amazing play. Tons of kills by Lord of Lord. Unfortunately, we don't get to see the player stats at the end. I believe he got... Five kills? Five or six. It was in that range. You guys can go back and count for me. Someone put that in the comments. But uh, yeah, amazing, great play by Lord of Lords. Bromania had this game grabbing mid, uh, allowing uh, his artillery to do all that damage at the top. At mid, Lord of Lords kind of occupying himself at the bottom, not realizing all of his units up there were dying. Um, but... Kill after kill after kill, capitalization after capitalization, basically spelled the end for Bromania's lead. Lord of Lords turning the tides, and just great play, but a great overall game. Um, and this is the kind of this is the reason that I think surrender should be instant. Bromania had to just alt F4. That's the only way out. Uh, otherwise, if you hit surrender, you have to sit through ten agonizing seconds 
of you being pissed off and you know not be, not wanting to be in this current game. So honestly, after the five minute mark, surrender should be basically instant. Just GG, get your game rewards, move on, go to the next game. So that's just my two cents. Something that I've been saying for a very long time, honestly. All right, guys, um, check your replays, please. I really appreciate it. If you send them in and if they work, I will be happy to use them. This is RUI and that is game. See you next time.